My Seaside Café is inspired by a place I visited a few years ago in Toulouse, France. Toulouse is built around a gentle turn in the River Garonne. It's called the Pink City because of the light bricks used in all the old architecture. One morning during my visit there, we stumbled on this cafe through an internet search. It was hard to find at first, completely tucked out of sight at the end of a narrow alley that turns sharply to the right. Passers-by would only know it by the white plastic banner hanging over the alley's entrance. Turning the corner, the pale walkway lights up with teal and chartreuse chairs tucked under the white metal tables. Inside the walls are white and the floor is bare, but color is everywhere. Something that stuck out to me was the bathroom, specifically where it was. You usually expect it to be in the back, right? but this toilet was thrown behind some drywall right in the front entrance. Past a display of picture-perfect French pastries is a vast wall of tea. The metal tins are wrapped in the cafe's signature colors. That same yellow, green, and teal, plus orange and a vibrant pink. Pink tulip lamps dangled above the dining area. Mirrors of all shapes and sizes littered the walls. There was long booths along the walls lined with tables and cushioned chairs. The booths had yellow seats and the back cushion was sky blue with this intricate floral design. Brunch was a multi-course affair.
When it comes to dining out, the French don't mess around. It's all about the atmosphere, the experience, and most of all, the flavors. Everything is coordinated to give you the peak experience. The tea was no exception. After all, it was the specialty here. They provide you with a gorgeous teapot and a sand timer so you know exactly when to remove the tea bag and avoid a bitter taste. The staff were so kind and patient. They don't rush you out with a check. You have to ask for the check, and I kind of like that. So why did it stick with me? Well, I love color, and even though the cafe's space was pretty drab and narrow, hidden away in a dingy alley even, it's packed with a vibrant palette. My Animal Crossing version of the Blue Teapot Cafe isn't nearly what I remember of the actual thing. It's actually a lot swankier, to be honest. The floors are brightly tiled, and there's a lot of decor and greenery. I feel the spirit of that cafe in this playful palette that captured me, though.
And anyway, since we can't ever go back to that oasis in the middle of the pink city, this will have to do. 